In this video, we're going to discuss sections, rows, columns, and just hit on elements. So you build your pages with the various sections, rows, and columns. A section is a section of a page, a row is a row within a section, and then rows are made up of columns, and then you place elements within your various columns, and elements include things like images, forms, videos, headlines, text, bulleted lists, etc. So again, it goes sections, and inside of the sections are rows, and inside of the rows are columns, and inside of the columns are elements. So this that's the breakdown of your pages. So let's go ahead. We need to go ahead and add a section first. We can either click here, add section, or we can click the little option here to add new section, select it. It gives us various widths. So we have full width, wide, medium, and small. And this just comes down to your particular design aesthetic and what you're trying to accomplish. I'm going to go ahead and select full width for this particular example. But by all means, play with it and see what works for you. So this is what our particular section looks like right here. If we want to go ahead and edit the settings for this section, we can hit this little gear option. And you see it presents various settings that we can go ahead and change. For example, top margin, which changes the margin at the top of the section. We could apply a background image to our section. We could go ahead and change our section width. So maybe we, we set it as full page, but we're like, oh yeah, no, we like we want it wide. Uh, we can make it sticky. We could stick to the top on scroll or stick to the bottom on load. We can change the backgrounds of our section. So if we wanna go ahead and change the color, make it full page again. So that that that's the difference between wide and full page and medium, small, extra small. So there you go. Full page, obviously full width. We can change the text color within our particular section. So if we want something different than the default topography that we set, we can go ahead and do that right here. Uh, we can change the padding of our sections, which is the space on the inside of our section. So as you see, it adjusts how much space my section is taking up. We go 15, 15. We can do left and right padding as well. And I also want to point out these display features down here. So we can select if we want our section to display on all devices, so mobile and desktop, or only display this section on mobile devices, or only display this section on desktop devices, or we can go ahead and hide our section. And then there's also the CSS info where we could name our section and we get our CSS ID selector if you're familiar with CSS at all. So let me go back in here. And then there are advanced sections. So we could go ahead and add some corner radius if we want to, round it off. We could add edges, uh, borders, and we could drop shadow if we want to. So you see that there's a little shadow now. And there's also an animation feature so we could go ahead and fade in over a period of time. So maybe we want this section to display after they've been on the page like three minutes and maybe that's where we have our buy now button is when is within this section that displays after you know they've been on the page for three minutes and there's just a lot of different options and settings to go ahead and play with now also we could go ahead and clone our section and I mean if we want to duplicate it so that makes perfect sense right we can also save our section so if we like build a section and we're like oh this thing is nice we might want to use it on a different page you can go ahead and hit save. And you'll be able to save your section as a template. And then when you're in another page and you're editing it and you want to use your super awesome section again, you can just go ahead and uh, pull in your pre-created section by adding a new section. And then you see the option for my sections. And you can just go ahead and select it and drag and drop it right on in there just like that. And then there's of course the option to delete. So you can go ahead and delete a section. Now word, word of warning, there's no undo button within the editor. So when you go ahead and you delete something, make sure you want it gone because you can't undo your delete. Like once you delete it, it's gone. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now within sections, we have rows. So let's go ahead and add a row. We can click add row here or there's typically the option to click add row from within a section, but we're experiencing a bug right now and that's not appearing. So let me go ahead and save my page real quick. Let me go ahead and refresh it and we'll see if that option appears like it should be there. All right, see how it appeared now? So that's what I'm talking about with the bugs. Still relatively buggy and can be kind of frustrating at times. So now let's go ahead and add a new row. And it presents us several different options. We have one column, two column, three column, four column, five column, six column, left sidebar, right sidebar. So let's go ahead and create a two column row. 
And I'm gonna change the background of this section real quick, make it a little lighter so it's not so intense. And I'll delete this other section right now. All right, so we have our row right here and it's made up of two columns. We have row and it's made of two columns. And we can go ahead and resize the size of the particular columns however we need or see fit to make them. And also, each row has settings just like the sections has settings. So we can adjust the top margin for our rows. We can adjust the background image, background color. So if we want a different background color in our rows, we can do that. Change our text colors, our widths, alignment, padding, and if we want to display it. So if we want to display on all devices, mobile, desktop, or hide it, then there are the advanced settings. So we could change our, our radius if we want to. We could go ahead and add some edges. We could go ahead and add a border if we want to. We could change the size of our border, change the color of our border. Go ahead and add a shadow. And then there are some animation options as well. So very much the same settings and advanced features as the sections themselves. Of course, we can go ahead and clone our particular rows and we could save it. So if we create a super awesome row that we might want to use on another page template, we could go ahead and save it here. So that way we could easily pull it back up when we're designing another page. And then there is, of course, the option to go ahead and delete your row. All right, now we know that this row has two different columns and we can go ahead and change one of the columns around if we want to. So we come up here to the top and we hit columns and we have first column, which would be the one on the left, and then we have second column. So let's say that we wanna go ahead and edit this second column. We hit the little pencil option, and it gives us some settings and options. So we could add some margin if we want to. We could add a background image if we want to. Maybe we wanna change the background color. Maybe we want it to be you know, a different color. We could adjust padding, very much the same features. You know, The display settings we could change, the advanced settings we could go ahead and change. So you can really customize it to look how you want or need it to look. And it's all very, very flexible and quite intuitive as long as a bug is not getting in your way. So we have our section here, which is this gray area. We have this row, which is highlighted or outlined with a red outline. And then our row is made up of columns. We have an empty column here. And then we have an, another empty column, but we have a background color, which is purple. Now we can go ahead and add elements to our different columns. So you see the option here for add element or add new element, or we could also come up here and hit add new element. Let's do it this way this time. So I'll show you that, add new element. And these are all the elements and I'm gonna record another video after this one showing you some of these elements. So let's just say I wanna add a headline to our column. So I'll just grab it here and drag it on over, drag and drop. And then the elements have their own settings as well, so we could adjust them however we want. But again, I'm gonna discuss that in the next video. So that's how the page builder functions. We have sections, and inside the sections we have rows, and inside the rows we have columns, and inside the columns we have elements. And all four of these things have their own settings that allow you to go in and customize and change it however you need. And it's really an intuitive system it just might take a little bit of clicking around to really get the look and feel that you're going for.